delegation of Singapore. Led by In all, 16 nations are getting their human rights report cards during two weeks of gatherings here in Geneva. Friday was the turn of Singapore. The delegation said the country had balanced increasing human rights protections for women, children, migrant workers and the disabled with maintaining stability as its main priority. Trade-offs between different kinds of rights are inevitable. The third principle is pragmatism. Our focus is on the practical implementation of rights and how to balance them with economic imperatives and social stability. Singapore should also be commended for several diplomats at the gathering raised issues concerning the treatment of foreign workers in Singapore and called for steps to improve conditions for migrants. We believe that measures adopted to educate foreign workers in their native languages of their rights and responsibilities and avenues for assistance would further improve their conditions, especially in understanding local legislation, and recommend that these measures be implemented. Singapore views the death penalty as a criminal justice issue. Ambassadors from some countries pressed Singapore to end its use of the death penalty for certain crimes, but the government cites low crime rates as an indicator of the success of capital punishment. There were also calls for Singapore to establish a national human rights institution, a step the country is reluctant to take. We don't need to establish a special body because our judicial system, our uh, uh, policies in Singapore and the way, that, the way that our Singaporeans have approached this issue basically allow us to use what we have currently in Singapore to promote and protect human rights. Singapore is currently a signatory to international treaties on the rights of women and children. It was pressed at this gathering to sign up to other human rights treaties, something the government says it's considering. This universal periodic review session is part of an ongoing process of assessments by the UN Human Rights Council. Singapore says it welcomes the process as a vital opportunity for an exchange of views between UN member states and stakeholders. The Council's full report on Singapore's human rights situation will be adopted on Tuesday. Steve Moore, Channel News Asia, at the United Nations in Geneva.